Please, Princess. There are Lotus assassins throughout the tunnels with orders to attack all who enter. You dare disobey my order? You force my hand! Princess? Oh, uh, what's she doing? We must reach the throne room unopposed. He will wake in a few hours. Shall we go? Our meeting with my father can't come soon enough. Okay. Maybe too late if what we know is true. I must hear it from my father's mouth. I must hear how he explains all these lies. The golems, death's hand, all of it. You go ahead, but only take one other with you. The rest should guard the rear and only fight if needed. I do not want a full war within these sacred walls. Okay. I would prefer to be up front, but if not, I will catch up if there is anything important to say. Come, let's go. No, no, you'll be up with me. Alright, folks, and that completes Chapter 3. Now we are on Chapter 4, I believe one of the shorter chapters. But Chapter 4 is wherein the palace keeps its secrets. An emperor is met in battle, and a master shows his gratitude. You infiltrate the, and destroy the Lotus Assassin's Fortress and learn that the Emperor had full knowledge of what was held there. It was a costly endeavor and the loss of one of your fellows casts a pall across your coming confrontation in the palace of the mighty Emperor's son, Hai. Okay, folks. So, um, yeah. That was chapter three. The, probably the longest chapter, I gotta say, because there's so many uh, side quests that you can do. Uh, however, I don't really want to stop. Uh, I'm really... I don't, this game is getting to be really intense. The palace and is ancient. Some say it was a celestial gift. It shouldn't be misused. Scholar jump. Yeah, so I really don't want to stop. So I'm going to keep playing until uh, I'm forced to eat. I think I still got like another hour to go before it happens. Okay, let's go in here. Oh. Were those, were those concubines? Nice. I want one. Silk Fox, can you be my concubine? She can hold her own. Let's get them both two for one. Ah, oh, no. Okay, good. Whoa, nice. Still don't give me as much experience. Man, those books... Oh no, you're on fire! She is hot! She's burning up! I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you! Blue Oyster Cult. Alright, I kind of remember this a little bit. But I, honestly, I don't think I had this upgraded sword because this seems a lot easier than when I first played it. Okay, so you're a Lotus Assassin, you're dead. And you're another Lotus Assassin. Ouch, that was probably stupid. Come on. Let me get a let me get an attack in. Got him. <laughs> there goes your head. There you go. Oh, I thought that was a trap. That's nothing. The Lotus Monks. As far as we know, all copies of the larger tech were destroyed, but I shall include a fragment below for your amusement. Protection of, of our glorious emperor has always been the purpose of the Order of the Lotus. The Lotus Monks are the personal servants and protectors of the Emperor of the Jade Empire, governed by Hand of Heaven, Sun Kin. They are servants, guards, teachers, doctors, and spiritual advisors. With their simple robes and dyed hands, they are omnipresent and unpredictable force whose importance is disappropriated to their numbers. Anyone who wishes a presence in the court of the Emperor must in some way appease the Lotus Monks. Should someone displease the Emperor or offend the glory of the Empire, the consequences can be dramatic. Fortunately, they watch themselves as well as others, and any who stray are punished accordingly. How quaint. Blood stains the hands much better than die from limb. Almost sounds like Inquisitor limb. 
Probably is. Oh, I keep thinking one of these things is going to be a trap. The Celestial Order, Volume 2. The great dragon loosed chaos upon the world he had created, separating man from beasts and laying the foundation for the eventual order that would unite humanity. This glorious jade empire, the great animal spirits of the past were cast out from the human communities, and man was forever separated and elevated above the common beasts. Man was now the guardian of the order, imposing his will on the nature and shaping to his desire. But balance must exist in all things. Man was a bastion of, or of order, with chaos in his heart. For as long as the world remains in chaos, man will always war and strive against his fellow man. This is the will of nature, until the great dragon returns to bring the world to order, or humanity brings itself above the cycle of nature. This is the way it will always be. Cool. Dang, tons of, tons of experience. Um, let's get some focus up. So I can use my thing my sword a little bit longer. Alright, um, oh great elevator scene. Oh god. This is one of the many spires within the palace where visitors are raised as if by the glory of the Empire. Without a guide, you could be lost here for days. Okay. That's probably why you're gonna help me out. Okay, let's go. Wait, anyone need to talk to? Nope. Let's go to the throne room. I should have saved. I should have saved. Oh, it saved for me, I think. Try not to damage anything. The Empire has seen enough disgrace. It's not my fault. Look at these guys. They wanna they wanna attack me. What am I supposed to do? Done. I will kill five bucks, yeah, probably worthless. I want that I wanna go look at the book. We are nearly to the throne room. Although my father has let these unseen parts of the palace fall into disrepair, these chambers are the tombs of past leaders. Who is entombed here? We would be here for days, and you likely know the most prominent anyway. Sagacious Tian, the first emperor, founder of the Jade Empire, and builder of the Wall. Cormia, the swift arrow, defender of the First Age and commander of the Borderlands during the Horse Lord incursions. Sang Si, the broken bow, the first woman to rule openly. She changed more in a single valiant battle than many others did with entire campaigns. The latest tombs belong to the Emperor's brothers, Prince Sun Li and Sun Kin. You have caused me to doubt this, but here they are for your own eyes to see. Okay. Master Li is the Emperor's brother and he is still alive. That is what you said he told you, but here is the tomb of the glorious strategist before you. Is this all a lie? Have you actually seen inside the tombs? No, they have been sealed for 20 years. I don't have any more proof than what was announced to the people. I don't know what that is worth anymore. If Master Lee is alive, what about Prince Kin? And your next question will be, what is in there if the brothers aren't? I can't say, but my father will explain everything. He has to. But your conviction is disturbing. I will definitely bring this up with my father when we confront him. Good. We are close to the throne room. The longer we take, the more questions I have. Okay. Before we go in there, I do want to hit this up. The Righteous Siege. A vague account of the attacks on the spirit monks of Dirge that maintained Sunli and Sunkin died on... Oh, okay. Despite obvious bias, some passages hint at the bloody actions of Tormented. Okay. Days turn to weeks. Blah, blah, blah. This is all going to be a lie. I'm pretty sure. What's over here? Um, save again. I'm gonna save a lot. I need to delete all my other saves. Oh crap. Okay, saving game. Please don't shut down Jade Empire. Let me see. Okay, so we're going back. I don't need any. 
Lily health. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I should have noticed that before. You actually can't go in. You have to go this way. Just fine with me. Keep this story going. Let's keep going through this uh, palace. Oh, look at my shadow. Here it is. The entrance to my father's throne room. I doubt he'll take this intrusion kindly, especially not with with the information we've learned. I... I don't know what my father has done, or what his reaction will be, but I want you to know something. I care for you, and I want to explore what we mean to each other in more intimate surroundings. Very nice. We have to face my father, but afterwards we must sort out this mess you have created, this confusing tangle of hearts you keep at your beck and call. <laughs> 